We have an outstanding situation uh, globally. Our current situation where we try hard to isolate patient zero when this patient comes into country, but also in a later stage when it's about tracing the further spread of a virus. Uh, currently we try to do that with a lot of manpower, try to investigate with whom that particular person had contact over the last 24, 48 hours. That is very labor intensive and very inaccurate. We have seen in Seattle that patient zero was even uh, basically isolating 60 people around his uh, environment, uh, was not able to uh, separate or identify patient, patient one. So that's how the flu actually started in Seattle. But we see other examples. China, for example, use GPS data from WeChat app, tracing people all, our, all across the country. We see also in South Korea that they have introduced the Corona app that is alerting people when they have been into an area with infected people. So they address people to go into self-quarantine or even go under a test situation. So it's all about knowing with whom, when and how long I had contact. And that's something which they tried to solve with uh, measuring GPS data. But actually there is another technology out, which is proximity. Proximity allows to measure the distance between phones. So for how long these three phones are on the same table, or if one is one meter away or five meters away. So compared to GPS data, it becomes very easy to identify and trace pe people back in the history. Just imagine something happened, you feel, well, you feel ill and get positively tested. You can just click with a single button into your application and all the people that have been in vicinity of two meters for 15 minutes will be alerted. Smartphones are spread across the globe. Proximity technology is developed and mature for over a decade. With our technology, any government can fight coronavirus. We are here and happy to help.